Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the month ahead. And this is going to take us towards the middle of December. So we're going into the early part of winter of 2019-2020 uh, with uh, JMA Friday today. So I'll get on that for you um, very shortly. Just say that coming up later on today, we'll have the regular week 10 day video update, which will include all of the usual features. And uh, you'll be able to have a look at that later on this afternoon. Uh, right, so I'm going to start off with the uh, JMA um, 500 millibar height anomalies broken down to weekly periods. Um, so the first week takes us from the 15th to the 22nd of November. And we're looking at the Northern Hemisphere and North Pole view down. So uh, this course is the uh, North Pole of the Arctic just here mid latitudes of northern, northern hemisphere uh, around there blue is extrapolating to below average heights which is low pressure yellow orange and red to above average heights which is high pressure so in the uh, week ahead as i say this is taking us from the 15th to 22nd of november we've got an area of above average height sitting to our east and northeast that's high pressure blocking uh, things out up there and then below average heights extending from the north atlantic down the western side of europe and the ridge and a ridge in the middle of the atlantic it leaves us on the cold side of the jet stream looking cold and unsettled really in uh, the week ahead with low pressure dominating bringing more spells of rain and uh, pretty cold temperatures at times as well i would have thought then into uh, week two, which takes us from the 22nd to the 29th of November, we get the above average heights uh, setting up to our east with below average heights out to west. We've got low pressure to the west of us, and uh, we've got the high pressure there sitting to our east. And what's happening here is that it's still unsettled, low pressure still bringing further wet weather in from off the Atlantic. The only difference is a change in the jet stream and wind direction. We bring the air up more from a southerly to southwesterly direction here. So this is still unsettled, but it's milder. And uh, we'd see temperatures lifting up, probably getting back towards average, maybe even going a little bit above. So still unsettled, yes, but also quite a bit milder. And then into weeks three and four, which takes us from the 29th of, uh, 29th of uh, November to the 13th of December, we get below average heights then out to the northwest and above average heights setting up to our south. Uh, so this is a much more typical zonal westerly type pattern jet stream coming through like that. And uh, so we're bringing in the air from off the Atlantic. It's mild, but it's also unsettled, particularly for northern and western parts of the country. You'd expect spells of rain, possibly gales at times from the far north. And it's just a much more typical type weather pattern than what you would normally expect um, in, uh, in the winter in the UK. But prevailing west south westerly is dominating and bringing mild and unsettled conditions. So a reversion from this rather abnormal or very abnormal pattern that we've been in during November uh, to something much more standard with uh, westerlies, southwesterlies dominating the low pressure out to northwest, high pressure to the uh, south of us, bringing those westerlies in from off the Atlantic. So that's a mild but unsettled first half to December. Uh, so looking at the tropical and mid-latitude view, uh, we see this. The British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as we're looking at it. Now, we can't see the Arctic and North Pole view. That's off the chart up here. Also, Scandinavia is off the chart. But we know what's going on. We know that in uh, the week ahead, we have a very unusual weather pattern in that low pressure is coming in from the north and uh, slipping down the western side of Europe with a ridge on uh, uh, over to the east of us across eastern Europe and also extending up to the northeast as well. Uh, we're on the cold side of a jet stream doing something like that with the flow and with the jet. So the weekend is colder than average. Remember this is taking us from the 15th to, 20, uh, to the 22nd of uh, November and it is colder than average. A cold average week coming up for not just the UK but for many parts of the uh, western and also central Europe as well. Much warmer over on the eastern side of Europe. So cold week to come and unsettled, particularly so for England and Wales with above average precipitation. 
Uh, then we go through to week two, and uh, we've got uh, low pressure bends more centered just to the west of us. High pressure is still to the east. It's still unsettled here. The only difference is that we're starting to bring up milder air from the south and southwest. With that temperatures really changing, going much milder from the 22nd to the 29th of November. The last week of November goes a lot milder with the JMA. And it's unsettled, though. There's a price to pay, and that's in the form of further rainfall. So uh, the deluge continues in what could be uh, really quite a wet end to November. And then we're up to weeks three and four, taking us from the 29th of November to the 13th of December. We have this area of high pressure. That's the Azores High down to our southwest. Low pressure is out to the northwest. And we're just bringing in a rather flat west or southwesterly flow. It continues to be milder than average, quite substantially so. Look how far into uh, Northern Europe those milder than average temperatures are going as well. It's also rather unsettled, and it will, would be particularly so for northern and western parts of the country, but all places here forecast to have, ab to have above average rainfall for the first, um, the first half of December. So mild and wet, uh, and probably quite uh, unsettled, and maybe for the north a little bit stormy uh, through the first half of December from JMA. Today, let's have a look at the service V2, see how that compares. So, again, these are 500 millibar heights, and they're broken down to weekly periods. The first week period takes us from the 15th to the 21st of November. The coming week, with below average heights to our west and to our south, above average heights both to our east and northeast. Uh, Flyma Jets doing something a bit like that. So, again, it is a pretty decent. Uh, comparison between the uh, JMA and the CFS are both in agreement for the coming week to be cold and unsettled. Moving through to week two, which is the 22nd to 28th of November, below average heights again are to our west and south, whereas above average heights a little bit more centred over Scandinavia. The flow with this is doing something a bit like that, so perhaps just a little bit more of an easterly tilt to those southerlies. For the last week of November, which probably won't be overly mild. I would have thought the model will show an improvement in the temperature from cold of an average to near a normal. But I don't think that's quite as mild as um, as uh, what the JMA was showing, because the high pressure is a little bit more centred towards Scandinavia, which will probably bat those wings rather than being southerly or southwesterly, will probably uh, actually bat those wings a little bit more southerly to southeasterly, a little bit more like that. And uh, there could be a bit of a cool or even fairly chilly component from the continent as well. Gradually, though, it is getting a little bit drier there. We're losing the deep area, uh, area of low pressure, so it's a little bit drier, though still a bit unsettled. Um, and uh, probably probably an improvement in the temperature, but not overly mild. This does look gen genuinely mild, though. This is week uh, 3, this is 29th of November to the 5th of December, with above average height then centred over the Alps. That's going to pull up wings from a southerly to southwesterly direction. So that's drier, but also a uh, very mild start to uh, December, potentially. And then finally, week four is looking like this. It's the 6th to the 12th of December. An agreement between the JMA and the CFS here with above average heights from the Azores setting up across southern Europe, below average heights, all of this low pressure out to the northwest. Wings and jet stream are coming from the southwest to the northeast. And uh, so that's more unsettled again. Probably turns quite a lot wetter as we move into the second week of December. But it's also mild, potentially even very mild through some parts of the country. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead from the 15th, 21st November are colder than average. The temperature anomaly is below average uh, with the CFS week. Two is 27th, 28th of November, an improvement in the temperature, not overly mild, but certainly lifting up a bit compared to uh, week one. However, it's in week three that temperatures really go above average. This is the uh, 29th of November to 5th of December. We, end, we start December, end November, and start December on a very mild note. Temperatures over a degree above average there. And then that goes on into week four as well, which is the 6th to the 12th of December. That one also is very significantly uh, milder than average. 
precipitation wise, quite interesting. The weekend is actually a bit drier than average in the north. This is the 15th, 21st of November. Uh, so a bit drier than average in the north, near a normal elsewhere. I suspect it'll be a little bit more unsettled than that suggests. Uh, week two, near normal with precipitation uh, then as it's starting to go milder. Uh, then into week three, which is the 29th of uh, November to 5th December, close to average with precipitation again. Week four hints at being wetter than average. It's the 6th to the 12th of December. We're unleashing the Atlantic and the west south Westerlies, so rather wetter than average for week four. So it is a bit of a mixed bag, um, but it certainly looks as though we've got more cold weather to come in the next few days. After that, though, the temperatures are gradually lifting up as we move towards the end of uh, November, and the suggestion in this um, January Friday this week is that December could start off on a mild, maybe even a very mild note. We shall see about that. It's just a snapshot of what these models are showing today. They could look very different next week, but that's how they're looking today. Uh, a much milder start to, well, a much milder end to November and a much milder start to December. Could be rather unsettled still, but especially the further on into December we go, increasingly wet signals once more. Right, we'll be back later on with your week to 10 day video update, so come back for that then, but that's all for now, and thanks for watching.